After Jesus went back up to heaven, he gave his followers the Holy Spirit. This helped them tell others about Jesus, even in other languages. Many people heard the good news about Jesus and believed, sharing the news with more people. The news kept spreading. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple. It was three o'clock in the afternoon. It was the time for prayer. There was a man who was born unable to walk. Every day, someone would put him near the temple gate. There he would beg from people going into the temple courtyards. He saw that Peter and John were about to enter, so he asked them for money. He expected to get something from them. Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and helped him up. At once, the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. He went with Peter and John into the temple courtyards. He walked and jumped and praised God. All the people saw him walking and praising God. They recognised him as the same man who used to sit and beg at the temple gate called Beautiful. They were filled with wonder. They were amazed at what had happened to him. The man was holding on to Peter and John. All the people were amazed. They came running to them at the place called Solomon's Porch. When Peter saw this, he said, Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us? We haven't made this man walk by our own power or godliness. God has done this. God has brought glory to Jesus who serves him. You killed the one who gives life, but God raised him from the dead. We are witnesses of this. This man whom you see and know was made strong because of faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus has healed him completely. You can see it with your own eyes. My fellow Israelites, I know you didn't realise what you were doing. Neither did your leaders, but God had given a promise through all the prophets. And this is how he has made his promise come true. He said that his Messiah Jesus would suffer, so turn away from your sins. Turn to God, then your sins will be wiped away. The time will come when the Lord will make everything new. He promised this long ago through his holy prophets. What the prophet said was meant for you. The covenant God made with your people long ago is yours also. He said to Abraham, All nations on earth will be blessed through your children. God raised up Jesus who serves him. God sent him first to you. He did it to bless you. He wanted to turn each of you from your evil ways. There was a man who couldn't walk. He begged at the gate. Peter and John came along. Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. The men walked, jumped and praised God, which amazed everyone. Jesus gave his apostles power to do some amazing things, things that would normally be impossible to do. And Jesus did it so that people might know that he is alive and still so very powerful.